Illinois Stories is brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by the support of viewers like you. Thank you. Hello, welcome to Illinois Stories. I'm Mark McDonald in Carrollton at the Greene County Courthouse, which was built in 1892. Now, when they built this courthouse to replace the old one, they kept the old vault, which protected the records, to protect them from a possible fire. Not only that, they restored the courtroom in this uh, courthouse not long ago, and it's a beautiful, beautiful addition. Come on, take a look. Well, Judge Day, this courtroom has been the courtroom since this building was built, but it didn't always look like this, did it? No, it didn't. It's had extensive renovation in the last few years. Mm -hmm. We um, had a committee that helped. The place was a terrible wreck after some repair work that was done to the ceiling and with the help of the committee it's been restored into the condition you see here yeah. today. And that was about what eight about eight years ago? About eight years I guess, ago. Yeah. And these good folks that we saw sitting in here listening to us, they're the committee that actually does, headed this thing up. That's right. It took us probably a year or more to get all this done and they were mm -hmm. faithful committee members and surely mm -hmm. had a lot of great suggestions uh, as far as the renovation was concerned. Mm -hmm. Now, so, most, of the, most of what you had to do was really just sort of clean this place up because oh, it, had been, it had been neglected for a long time. Oh, right? yes, it was in terrible shape. The woodwork was dark. Uh, ceiling was destroyed with the work that had to be done to take care of some problems up there. Mm -hmm. And the floors were destroyed. The place was just a complete wreck, really, when we started. You know, we're looking at that chandelier right now, and, and th there's a story behind this thing because this, th this is a sort of the first thing that catches your eye when you walk in the room. It's been here ever since the building was built. Uh, just about. It was purchased by the county commissioners in 1893 for $145. <laughs> You're kidding. Well, newspaper article <laughs> at the time said it gave, wow. it gave excellent light. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> for $145, what a bargain, huh? I think so. It's lasted a long time. Yes, it is. And it was, I assume it was a gas fixture at that time. I think so, it, uh, yeah. originally, of course. It's electric now. Right. Yeah. Um, and since everything, almost everything, all the wood trim in here is oak, mm -hmm. um, of course, it had been varnished and, and covered over so many times. I guess that took a lot of, a lot of work. Oh, it? it was dark, very, very dark. All the woodwork was dark, and we had a local contractor, and he hand-scraped all the woodwork mm -hmm. and restored it to its original finish, mm -hmm. which really made it a lot lighter, brighter, and beautiful in here. It is beautiful. Let's, uh, let's walk up a little bit. Now, before we leave, though, these, these rails here that separate the... the uh, the uh, uh, viewers from the proceedings, these are original, aren't they? Those are original. Most of the woodwork in here is original. We've had some replacement uh, to take care of some areas over by the jury box in particular, where there used to be just basically some plumbing pipe with some plywood hanging down from it. And mm -hmm. we've had it uh, recreated, restored, and so it all matches. Mm -hmm. Now, one of, these, one of these two tables in front of us is not original, but I have a heck of a time telling which one it is. That's right. Uh, we thought we needed two tables alike, and the old one is over on that side. This one was built by a craftsman here in Carrollton, mm -hmm. and basically an exact reproduction. Boy, he did a good do job, or she yeah. Yeah. did a wonderful job. This is, this is the recreation right here. Right. Mm -hmm. right. It, it does. It looks identical. You can, except you can tell the wood is not as old. There's something right, about old right. wood it's, that really... It's not quite you know. the same mm -hmm. shade. Now, yeah. up, up here where you live, this, is, uh, this, this was all original, I guess, isn't it? And this just had is to be original. Cleaned up? Uh, the original woodwork went over to, I believe it was to right here. And mm -hmm. then we, everything from here on around to the end of the jury box was reproduced to be identical. The back of the jury box, though, is original. And again, was not that color, had to be Was not that up. color, yeah. very, very dark varnish, mm -hmm. probably several layers, I mm -hmm. suspect. What about the jury seats, the jury, jury chairs? Jury seats have been refinished. They were black and uh, not in too good a shape, had holes and so on. A mm -hmm. lady from Eldred, Illinois, refinished the, uh, reupholstered the seats, and of course, uh, 
Again, the woodwork had to be stripped. Well, you had a lot of help, didn't you? Well, we had help from all over. Because you keep mentioning local people that, uh, that, that helped do one thing or another. We had help from all over the county. Uh, yeah. And most of it was local. Mm -hmm. yeah. As much as we could possibly do, yeah. we tried to do that. Now, just over your left shoulder there, I'm looking at that old clock on the wall. Tell, tell me about that clock. That clock is obviously a clock plus calendar. It's accurate. It's working today. It's patented in 1862. Wow. And uh, still works. Patented during the Civil War. Right. And, and you jokingly say that it even keeps daylight savings time for you. It changes on its own, huh? Yes, that's a joke. Though, that's a smart clock. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Out here, um, these look like church pews, and I guess there's a good reason for that, huh? Original seats were removed probably 40 some years ago and replaced with movie theater seats. We don't know why, but we felt that the movie theater seats were really entirely inappropriate for a courtroom. Mm -hmm. So a local church just about a block away closed and they had pews available. So we bought these from that church. Uh -huh. And we bought every pew they had, and every pew they had is in this courtroom. And it just worked out perfectly. Uh, pews are too long to come up the stairs, so the uh, Ameren CIPS people donated a boom truck with crew, and uh, we opened a window over here, and the, <laughs> the pews were lifted up through the window. Well, that's great. You didn't play. have to take them apart. I mean, because no, you would have had to saw these things in half, and that's then right. somehow that's figured right. a way to put them back yeah, together. Yeah. So that worked wow. out fine, and again, that, sure that was donated help, of course, on that. Mm -hmm. Didn't really cost us, other than the cost of the pews, of yeah. course. And we got those for a fairly reasonable price. So now you got a really big, very functional courtroom that's also beautiful. Well, we think so. Yeah. yeah we appreciate that. Yeah, um, we're very pleased with how it turned out. You were able to raise all the money for this project locally by people who were interested in seeing this done, and they, and they, they donated, didn't they? Essentially, you? that's right. There was a little money left over from a grant that was used to do some repair work in the courthouse. We used some of that, but most of it came from donations. Uh, we had, well, we have little plaques on the end of each pew, mm -hmm. and that, that was basically a donation of $200 for those, and every pew has a plaque on it. And then we had some $1,000 or more donors listed on the back wall there, mm -hmm. so with a combination of help that was donated, uh, money that was donated, we were able to do this without charging the taxpayers of Greene County yeah. anything. They didn't pay anything in the way of increased taxes. Or, That's fantastic. Yeah. Plus, if you get it done locally, you can save some money. You got all this, this whole job done for, give me a ballpark, what do you think Roughly, it Roughly, I think, looking at some of my records, about $45,000. That's amazing. That's amazing. And it was a complete overhaul. Some people spend that on a car. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Well, we think we got our money's worth out of this. I think you did, too. Yeah. Wilson Eldridge, you know, I, I think one of the, everybody can relate to what you did on this job because everybody's tried mm -hmm. to refinish woodwork at some mm -hmm. point or other. Yeah. And you really had your hands full on this one, didn't you? Yeah, my hands did hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it was a lot of work. Yeah, I'll bet it was. You had some help from your wife? Yes. And, and, and your dad, too? Yeah. Okay. Now, people that know Greene County know the name Eldred. Are you the old family Eldred that's yes. been around here yeah. forever? Yeah, descendants, yes. Yeah. There's a town named Eldred, isn't there? Right. Yeah, yeah. Now, how did you get into the woodwork and wood finishing business? Mm, well, it was for my dad. He, uh, after he got out of the military in World War II, um, he couldn't find any work. And I think he just started getting into that with... Uh, uh, Ross camera mm -hmm. and it, I just kind of you started it, I always him I started when I was in junior high is that right in the summers yeah it's back it can be hard back breaking <laughs> and finger breaking work yeah. but I think while while we're lucky here let's look at this floor because this old these are low plank floors mm -hmm. um, this was what color was this when you started on this well it was well, it wasn't this color it was it, pretty, it, it was pretty dark <laughs> yeah. and the, the woodwork is really dark mm -hmm. in here yeah well, we're going to take a look at some of that woodwork as we go here. Let's let's walk up here to the judge's bench, because this is just gorgeous up here. You could see 
You can see the rich color of this this oak, and this oak is throughout this whole courthouse. Isn't mm -hmm. it? Yes. Yeah. And when you when you guys undertook the courtroom here to, to re restore the courtroom, you also had the oak outside that the the, the two story oak that goes up the stairwell and all right. that stuff to do as well. But you can see how how now here's here's the trick on this, uh, Wilson. You you were able to get all the old varnish and all the black stuff off here without using any chemicals. Is that um, my understanding? The majority of it was just by hand tools. Yes. No kidding. What kind of tools? Well, they're, I give a name brand. <laughs> no, not that. But I mean, yeah. are you talking about? It, they were just they were just different shapes of scrapers, mm -hmm. and uh, they're they're carbide blades. And this stuff was pretty brittle, which helped. Now, if it was anything different, I might have had to use chemicals, but I mm -hmm. tried to avoid it because of the smell. Yeah. Um, and we could contain the dust, and it just worked out better that way. Yeah. Well, it just seems like it would take forever because, like I say, we've all tried to do that at some yeah. point in our life. Now, this, this is new wood here, yes. but not true back there. That was that was old stuff that you needed to do too. Right. And you know, right behind that, we're looking at those at the uh, windows, the, right. the window frames. And I just happen to have a. As soon as we get a good look at that, I want to show this picture that I've got here, which, which shows just how black and dark and and uh, uh, sort of awful that. That was, and you can take a look here and see this. You can see it's almost black. Well, I'll tell you what, you had your hands full and I gotta congratulate you for sticking with it. It's beautiful now. Mm, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I had fun doing it, actually. <laughs> it, it was interesting. But Judge, there are a number of portraits on the walls in the courtroom, but, but one of them we should mention. We, we shouldn't miss talking about this fellow. Well, yes, this is Norman Jones. Mr. Jones was a Carrollton resident. He served on the circuit court, and then later he rose to become a justice on the Illinois Supreme Court. And he was a candidate for governor back in the 30s, although, unfortunately, he was not successful. But he mm -hmm. had a distinguished career, uh, one of several from Carrollton mm -hmm. who've succeeded, you might say. Marge Hopkins, you are a member of the committee right. that put, really put this whole plan together, right? right? Mm -hmm. um, the place looked pretty rough when you all got started on this thing back in 2002, I guess you started planning, mm -hmm. right? It was very rough. Yeah. How did you and your committee, how did you come together? Well, Maxine Longmire, who is on the board, came to the judge and said that there was no money. The board had no money to renovate the courtroom. Mm -hmm and that they were going to try to lower the ceiling. Well, the judge and his wife then called the committee, called mm -hmm. different members and, or different people and said, would you be on a committee to try to renovate the courtroom mm -hmm. and see if we can put it back the way it was? Mm -hmm. and so that's how we got to be on ah, I see, okay. Now, people, your name might ring a bell with people, Hopkins. Mm -hmm. your, your husband has been a veterinarian in, in Greene County for how many years? 49. 49, recently retired a few right. years ago, huh? Okay, and interestingly, he, he retired because he got injured by a horse. Correct. I'm surprised That's that right. doesn't happen more often. Well, he was injured a number of times, but not as severely as oh, he was oh, this time. Was. Okay, so that's if people see the name Hopkins, they They'll know it's coming. Right. Okay, I'm going to step to the side over here, and I want you to show us some of these before okay. and after pictures mm -hmm. that you and your committee have taken. And we saw this gorgeous chandelier in right, there. Right, right. And this was being uh, thrown in the trash, and one of our committee oh. members' husbands went by and saw this in the trash and rescued it. You, you literally rescued it. It was uh, going to be picked up by the trash. Uh -huh, literally Can you rescued imagine it. that gorgeous and, thing being thrown away? Of course, this is what it looks like now. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. It would have been such a shame. Yeah. If now, we had. saw the pews in there, and this is, and, and the judge said, well, you know, we used to have movie theaters. That's correct. There. They did, and we didn't think that was fitting for a courtroom. You mm -hmm. know, in the old days, they did have this type of seating, bench uh -huh. seating. Uh -huh. And so we were fortunate uh, the, the church had closed, and these pews were available, and we thought they looked so much better. So we sold these, uh -huh. sold these, and from there, the money was used uh -huh. for renovation. And you can see in this one, how much work had to be done. There's just oh my goodness, there's yeah. just folding chairs and yeah. all kinds of oh, things. Oh, disarray. It just doesn't it, look it, like, no. yeah. It, and you see the dark woodwork, how black yeah, the woodwork was when sure we started. Yeah. And then uh, this, is, of course, is when we 
had finished or were nearly finished. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much better it looked. And you can see the here how bad it was. Well, to yeah, you had with. to tear the ceiling out, didn't the, you? Which the, was the a ceiling shame. was partially torn out because of the leakage in the roof, uh -huh. and and so that's what we had to start with. And then uh, you can see how black all yeah, of this woodwork yeah. was. So this was is the finished product. Oh, it's so much brighter and, and beautiful. We're, we're very proud Look of it. Look at the this. side. Now, here's a big photograph over here right, that really tells us. Right. This, this was in when, when you were probably right in the middle of the project. I mean, you had the, you had part of the ceiling down, and you also had it shored up from below. Right, and, oh, right. Oh, what a mess. That's right. And, and th so that's what we were looking at, and we're saying we have no money. I mean, I think we had 40000 left over from the original grant for the roof. That's mm -hmm. what we started with. And we're really, really proud that we didn't use any tax money. But, you know, it was all donated. Raised it all with donations. And all uh, 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 labor, a lot of labor was donated. Mm -hmm. And so I think we're very, very proud that we didn't have to use tax money. You should You be. know, that, and to do all this work. It's beautiful. But we're, and we're proud of what it looks like now. <laughs> it's a, it's, and it's an ongoing project, yeah. you know. Things happen to it that you're going to have to replace. Yeah. But, but we're really proud of what it has become. Diane Wolfley, you remember as a little girl walking into the courthouse down the hall and Santa Claus was sitting on that lighted floor. Yes, he it hasn't was. hasn't changed a bit, has no, it? No, it hasn't. <laughs> and people are afraid to step on that glass sometimes, you know, yeah, for go, fear they'll oh, fall oh, through. Yeah, it never has happened, <laughs> No, has it? no. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this follows the steps all the way up here to the second floor. And then yes. up above, we can see that this view would go all the way up to the clock tower if it were not for this ceiling fan That's that was right. put in some years That's ago, right. which I think is on the way out someday. Well, we have, would like to do that someday yeah. when funds yeah. are available. Because upstairs in the attic, there are some stained glass yes. sides yes. that would show beautifully if yes. the light could come through, right? Yes. Yeah. Now, we're talking to you here because you were on this committee. My husband and I were both on the committee. On the committee uh -huh. that, that oversaw the, the restore, restoration of the court. Yes. In the process of doing that, you got the opportunity to go into the attic and poke around a little mm -hmm. bit, didn't you? Yes. There are lots of interesting things up there. We found the pictures and some chairs and mm -hmm. lots of different things. Things that, for whatever reason, people in the times past thought, oh, we don't need that. Right. Put it upstairs. Get right. it out of here, right? Right. But some of it ended up, up back in the restored courtroom, huh? Some of the pictures we found of the old judges and, and uh, people that had been connected with the courthouse or the county. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we had those framed, or they were cleaned up and put back on the walls. Yeah. Now, the, the, uh, the, the, the well, attic's not used for anything but storage, but right. can we just go take sure, a look anyway? Sure, sure. Yeah, the door's right over okay, here. Okay, well, come on, let's, okay. let's go. Okay, okay. Creaky steps, Diane. Yes, they are. Creaky steps. Creaky. You'll, you'll creak when you get this old, too. <laughs> You're, you're as right. A, as a courthouse. Right. I love coming out to places like this. Oh, yes. Um, up, ab up above where we are, we're on the third floor, which is also the attic. Right. And you can see now where we saw that fan, we described these mm -hmm. stained glass right. windows that have been in here probably since the place was built. Mm -hmm. And then above that is the clock tower that you see from outside. Right. So you can go a lot higher in this building. Yes. In fact, you're going to take us up okay. there. Okay. But walk us around here a little okay. bit so we see what okay. the storage situation okay. is up here. This is where you found some stuff. Yeah, we found these old chairs, and um, I uh, am a basket weaver, and I did uh, re oh, redo did. one of the chairs. Well, nice the work. Now you're going to have to find a place these for, the for these. Ones. Yeah. Uh huh. How nice. I'm ready. Okay, and and you. This is where this level is where you found the portraits. Yes, that are they up were there. just. Um, in various places around, stuck yeah. around, and and we investigated and uh, tried to identify the people that mm -hmm. were in the pictures and and uh, cleaned them up and did a little repair yeah. on some of the frames and yeah. got them hung up. Yeah. You know, the best view of a of a town from, is from the town square, and of course, it's always from the top of the corner. Right. So let, let's go up. Let's, let's go, go up there. there okay. Okay, we're in the tower, Diane. Yes. And if we look down to our left here, we can see that's where that pesky fan yes. is installed. And if yes. we get that out of there, we can look all the way up, all the way up into here. And that's what we're hoping someday. The only thing accomplish. above us here 
is the clock. Yes. Tower, which goes another dozen, how many, how many, I don't, I don't know how many, how many feet. stairs it's way it goes up, up there. Yes. But you really get a nice view yes. of the community from up here, and you're mm -hmm. in the middle of the square here, so you look in every direction and yes. you can see out this way, right. there's a very impressive statue. Mm -hmm. And she's, what, Lady Justice, I yes. guess? Yes, yes. Over this way, you get to see the, uh, the water tower. The water tower, tower. Which, of course, tells yes. you you're in Carrollton. Yes. Nice, nice yes. view. Well, Kirby Ballard, you're treasurer of the county, right? That's correct. Yeah, have been for some time? Since uh, 1994. Yeah. Do you enjoy working in this old building? Love working in this <laughs> building. You betcha. What, a, what about it, I mean, appeals to you? I know it's, it's old, 1891, but what about it uh, appeals to you? Well, it's the historical uh, uh, basis of it. It's a functional building still in this, in this age. Uh, just the history that's been around this building and the people that have come through it. Mm -hmm. And th thank you're part of it, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, as we look up at it now, you know, we get a chance to see what we were looking at from the inside, which right. is li the Lady Justice up there on the top and, right. and the bell tower, which is really, really pretty, uh, pretty distinctive, I think. Yeah, it's uh, supposed to be 100 feet to the top of that bell tower. Lady Justice is 7 feet 6 inches tall. Kind of gives you a perspective on the, mm -hmm. on the height of things. Mm -hmm. Now this stone, there, there's a lot of limestone in this county, but that's not where this stone came from. This stone came from Ohio in 1891, was imported in here. Uh, supposedly by rail and then uh, brought in here by mule teams. Yeah. There's another interesting story about this. This is not the original courthouse. There was an old courthouse on the site that this was built. That's correct. They, uh, they tore the old courthouse down, but when they did, they left uh, a vault that surrounded two offices down here. So. When you're inside the building, you go to the south end of it, you can look up and see a rib ceiling, and that's a, that's a steel vault around those offices. And it was designed and placed in there as a fireproof uh, method of trying to, if, if a fire broke out, they could contain it and we wouldn't lose all the mm -hmm. county records. So it was so sturdy, they left the vault for the new building. And then they built around it. We yes. got to see that. Yes. Can we go see it? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Kirby, help us visualize this vault that we're standing in because this, this enormous wing of this courthouse is all one vault and the new courthouse is built around it. That's correct. If you look up and look at the ceiling, you'll see there's ripples and that's, this is where the uh, steel is actually exposed and not covered up. And the, above this wing, the entire south wing of this courthouse on the first floor, you're standing in a steel vault. Uh, it was designed and put in in the 1880s uh, around the 1830s courthouse, and then when they built the new structure, they built around this. They mm -hmm. tore the others down and built around it. Above that, uh, above the ceiling, there is a layer of sand that is supposed to absorb any fire or any heat that would, would be created. Then each office has steel doors that are sealed and closed at night that would also prevent the fire from spreading from mm -hmm. uh, wing to wing yeah. here. Right above us is the courthouse, or yeah, the courtroom. Court room. Court room. Yes. And then over here, if you, you want to talk about these doors, you were talking about... <laughs> they are, they steel. are a, a steel door about a quarter <laughs> inch thick. They pull tight and uh, it eliminates any drafts or uh, movement of fire from... Absolute security and fireproof. It's a, Absolutely, yeah. and it was done in the 1880s, like I said. It's amazing <laughs> what these folks uh, were able to do back then. Yeah. Well, on the southeast corner of the grounds of the courthouse is a very dramatic statue of a Thomas Carlin. Steve Black, you're the president of the Greene County Historical Society. You know a little bit about this guy anyway, don't you? A little bit, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, this is a statue of Thomas Carlin. Uh, Thomas Carlin is accredited with establishing the town of Carrollton. Uh, a little history on Thomas. Uh, he. Uh, I think he was born in Kentucky originally, but he was a, a veteran of the uh, War of 1812. And then he came to uh, Greene County uh, in the, uh, about 1820 or so, or mm -hmm. 1821. And he purchased some property. Uh, of course, none of this town was here at that point in yeah. time. Uh, there were very few inhabitants uh, in, in those early years. But he bought this land here. And uh, when it came, came time to uh, select a, a location for the county seat of Greene County, which was established in 1821, uh, they selected this location. Thomas uh, Carlin and, and several other commissioners were the people that were charged with uh, determining where the county seat would be. Mm -hmm. So uh, they, they selected this location. 
and uh, actually some of this land where the courthouse is located uh, was part of his original property which he provided to the county uh, for the, the courthouse. Yeah. And he later became governor of the state yeah. of Illinois. Yes, one he of our did. Early governors, yeah. He was the first sheriff after uh, uh, the town was established. He then went on to spend, I think, eight years uh, as a state senator. And then he went on to uh, be the governor of, of Illinois. And I understand he was the first governor when they moved the capital to Springfield. He was the first governor to serve when the state capital ah, had been moved okay. to Springfield. So uh, he, he's very prominent. Uh, he also was uh, instrumental in passing some legislation that is established McGoopin County, and as such, you can imagine Carlinville. Uh, sure, named, named after named, him named, for that named reason. Named after him. Uh, this monument was uh, erected and put here in uh, in 1917 to commemorate uh, Carlin and all of his uh, contributions, of course, to the to, to Carrollton and to Greene County. Yeah. Thank you, sir. One of the great things about county courthouses is they're open and available for tours almost any time during regular business hours. We'll be touring other central Illinois courthouses in the future on Illinois Stories. Thanks for watching. Illinois Stories is brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by the support of viewers like you. Thank you. For a DVD copy of the program you've just seen, send 1995 to Network Knowledge, P.O. Box 6248, Springfield, Illinois 62708. Be sure to include the program name, subject, and when the program aired. You can also order with your credit card by calling 800-232-3605.